viewers in this video we will see the design of 4 bit magnitude comparator digital comparator subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic we have to have the 4 bit magnitude comparator we need to compare the two number having 4 bits whether both the numbers are equal or greater or lesser so for that we have the comparison algorithm is available First, we will see A equal to B, whether both the numbers are equal. So, based on the algorithm, we can obtain the Boolean expression. That Boolean expression can be implemented with the logic gates. So, consider the 4-bit binary number A and B, having the A having the 4 digit A3, A2, A1, A0. A0 is the LSB, A3 is the MSB. Similarly, B, B3, B2, B1, B0 b0 lsb b3 msb so the two numbers are said to be equal when a3 is equal to b3 a2 is equal to b2 a1 equal to b1 and a0 equal to b0 so for such case only these two numbers are equal the corresponding a3 and b3 should be equal similarly a2 b2 should be equal a1 b1 should be equal and a0 b0 should be equal all we need to satisfy all four condition so in binary the equality of each pair of bit can be expressed logically with the exclusive nor gate exclusive nor function what is the exclusive nor function what is the nature of the exclusive nor gate exclusive nor gate the truth table is available here see that the truth table for exclusive nor the two inputs a b and the output y so for the four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 for 0 0 the output will be 1 for 0 1 the output will be 0 1 0 output will be 0 1 1 output will be 1 so what is the nature if both the inputs are equal in that case the output is 1 if the inputs are different 0 1 1 0 mean the output will be 0 Whenever A is equal to B, A also 0, B also 0 mean it will give 1. A also 1, B also 1 mean it will give the output as 1. If A is 0, B is 1 or A is 1, B is 0 mean output will be 0. So, this property we can use it to check whether both the digits are equal. So, that we can use the XNOR gate to check the each digit of number A and number B. Right? So, that is given. So, can be expressed logically with the exclusive NOR function that is AI BI plus AI dash into BI dash. So, this is the Boolean function, the logical expression for the XR gate, right. So, XI equal to AI BI plus AI bar plus into BI bar. The I is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3. So, the 4 digits are available, 4 bits. So, we are vary from 0 to 3, right where xi equal to 1 only if the pair of the bit is in position i or equal that is if both are 1 or 0 if both are 1 or 0 then only the output will be high this xi will be 1 the output will be 1 only when both the inputs are either 0 or 1 so that is available here either 0 or 1 then only the output will be available as 1 so this condition we can use to check whether both the bits are equal right so therefore we can say that a equal to b if x naught x1 x2 x3 equal to 1 right the x naught is nothing but the x is i is substituted as 0 we are checking the bit a naught and b naught x1 is nothing but the uh, output while checking a1 and b1 x2 is the output while checking a2 and b2 x3 is checking a3 and b3 in all the cases all are 1 1 then only the output will be 1 right so that we can say a equal to b right so by using xnor gate we are implementing with the function so that a equal to b we can identify by using the xnor gate so finally what we need x0 x1 x2 x3 should be 1 so we can implement this function in a logic gate using logic gates right so main thing is the property of xnor gate is both are equal then only the output is 1 so that can be used to used to check whether 
a equal to b each and every digit is equal now we'll go to the a greater than b or a less than b the second and third condition whether a is greater or b is greater to determine whether a is greater or or less than b it is necessary to inspect the relative magnitude of the pair significant digits starting from the most significant position so we have to check the each and every digit whether the a is greater or b a is greater than that is b is lesser if the two digits of pair are equal we have to compare the next lower bit pair of digit the comparison continue until the pair of unequal digit is reached right so each and every digit we have to check suppose if it is equal then we'll go to the next one next also equal mean third one like that we could go until unequal if all are equal mean the previous case a equal to b if any one digit is unequal then only we can say whether it is lesser or we can conclude that whether it is lesser or greater right so each and every digit is verified this verification continue until unequal digit is reached if the equal digit is reached mean it is first condition a equal to b unequal one unequal mean then only we can go for a less than b or a greater than b so based on that if corresponding digits of a is 1 and that of b is 0 we can say that a greater than b at a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 means a greater than b similarly if the corresponding digit of a is 0 and that of b is 1 means a is less than b that is b is greater so based on that the sequential expression to determine whether a is greater than b or a is less than b is given as follows right so based on the algorithm the expression is given for a greater than b a3 b3 dash plus x3 x3 is not, nothing but what we discussed in the first case a equal to b then a2 b2 dash plus x3 into x2 a1 b1 dash plus x3 x2 x1 a naught b naught dash a less than b a3 b3 here see this this is a3 bar a lesser mean a3 bar b lesser mean b3 bar plus x3 a2 bar b2 plus x3 x2 a1 bar b1 plus x3 x2 x1 a a naught bar b naught bar right so based on the algorithm what we discussed the boolean function is framed for a greater than b as well as a less than b so here what we need a naught a1 a2 a3 b naught b1 b2 b3 as well as a1 dash a2 dash a3 dash a4 dash similarly b naught dash b1 dash b2 dash b3 dash then x2 x1 x3 and x naught so these are all the inputs needed so the block diagram of an n bit comparator is shown below it receives the two n bit number a and b as a input and the output will be a greater than b or a less than b or a equal to b right so this block diagram is given here depending upon the relative magnitude of the two numbers one of the output will be high so this is the two inputs number a and number b the four digits four digits will be given this is a n bit comparator this is n right it may be 4 n equal to 4 mean 4 bit comparator so having the three input out of three any one will be high depends upon the value a greater than b or a equal to b or a less than b any one input will be higher right now we got the boolean expression for all three cases a equal to b a greater than b or a less than b now we'll go to the logical diagram to implement the boolean function we'll go for the design of logic gates I will see this this is nothing but x nor gate because a equal to b we need a 4 x nor gate x3 x2 x1 x naught if all are multiplied equal to 1 means this a equal to b right so we need x3 first we will see the x3 similarly we have x2 x1 x naught also all these four outputs x3 x2 x1 x naught is given to one and gate if the and gate output is 1 that means a equal to b right that we already discussed first we will see x3 x2 x1 x0 is very similar so this is the one x0 gate 
this block is very similar to other blocks also. So by explaining these three other things are we can easily understand. So what is x3 available here? Two AND gates are available and one XR gate, XR gate is available, XR gate is, uh, NOR gate is available, right. What is the input here? X3, so that we have A3, B3. Here A3 bar is given and B3 is given directly, A3 bar, B3. Here A3 is given, B3 bar is given, A3, B3 bar, right. So input to this AND gate is A3 bar, B3. For this AND gate A3 B3 bar, right. So this available written here. So that is given to the NOR gate. What is the function of NOR gate? OR gate means it will add, add both. NOR gate means it will take the complement. So both are added together and taken the complement. A3 bar B3 plus A3 B3 bar the whole bar, right. So we will see what how, how it is the uh, X NOR gate. So it is nothing but equivalent to x nor gate. So, we will see how we are getting x nor gate from this function. Before that I will explain this. So, here we have x3 is available. In this point what is available? A3, B, A3 bar B3 is available. At this point A3, B3 bar is available. So, these things are needed while checking A less than B and A greater than B. We already discussed the logical expression. A3 bar B3 a3 b3 bar these are all needed so here we have three outputs are available x3 available a3 bar b3 available a3 b3 bar available so that can be used for for other functions right now we will see how this is the equivalent to the x nor gate now we will go to the x nor gate how it is equal to x nor gate So, A3 bar B3 plus A3 B3 bar, the whole bar. So, based on the De Morgan's theorem, A plus B the whole bar equal to A bar into B bar. So, this is written as A3 bar B3 the whole bar into A3 B3 bar the whole bar, right. A plus B the whole bar equal to A bar into B bar based on the De Morgan's theorem. Again, A plus B the whole bar equal to a bar plus B bar, again De Morgan's theorem, another expression. Similarly here, A into B the whole bar equal to A bar plus B bar, right. So it is written. So the plus is converted into multiplication, again multiplication is converted into plus by using the De Morgan's theorem. So here already one bar is available. So A3 double bar plus B3 bar, here A3 bar plus B3 double bar, already one bar is available. So, A3 double bar mean it become A3 plus B3 bar plus A3 bar plus B3. Here double bar is there, so the bar is removed. Now, we have to multiply inside A3, A3 bar, A3, B3, B3 bar, A3 bar, B3 bar, B3, right. What is A3 and A3 bar? A, A bar is 0. That A into A bar is 0. So, this value is 0. Here also 0. B3, B3 bar is 0. Only these two terms are available. A3, B3 plus A3 bar, B3. So, this is nothing but the equivalent to the X nor gate. A3, X nor of B3. Why we are using, we use the, this two, two AND gate, one nor gate. In order to get the output A3, B3, A3 bar, we are using this equivalent circuit. Otherwise, directly we can use the XNOR gate, right. We will see the diagram again. So, we need these inputs A3 bar, B3, A3, B3 bar for implementing the remaining two function A less than B, A greater than B. We need this expression so that we are using this equivalent circuit of XNOR. Otherwise, Directly we can use the single XNOR gate to get the X3 output, right, we, because we need these inputs, we need these terms A3 bar B3, A3 B3 bar, that is why we are using this equivalent circuit. So, we got X2, X3 here, similarly we have X2, here X2 is available, similarly here A2, A2 bar B2, A2 B2 bar is available. Right. So, like that we have x1 and x0, all four variables are available. So, all this 
x3, x2, x1 and x0 is given to this AND gate. So, these four inputs are x3, x2, x1, x0. So, that is given to AND gate. So, AND gate is multiply all. If all are high, only high, then only it will produce the high. In such case, A equal to B, right? In that case, it is A equal to B, right? x3, x2, x1, s0 is given to the AND gate, it will multiply. If all are 1, it will give the value as 1. In that case, A equal to B. For A less than, A greater than B, we already discussed. There are 4 terms available, right? So, for all 4 terms, we are using the AND gate. These AND gates are available. That is given to finally one R gate. So, these 4 terms are added together by the R gate and identify whether it is A greater than B. Similarly, A less than B. Here also there are 4 terms available. All 4 terms are added by the OR gate so that it will identify A less than B. Right? We will see this AND gate. What are the AND gates are available? So, this is the AND gate available. Here is the X3 is connected. Then another input is this one. What is this? This is nothing but B2. B2 and A2 bar. That is A2 bar and B2, then this X3 all are connected. Here, again X3 is connected. And another output is this one. What is this? This is nothing but A2, B2 bar. Similarly, all, all these AND gates are connected together and got the final value. Right? So, we will see this expression once again so that you are able to understand. So, this is the expression what we need. A3, A3 bar. A2, B2 bar. So, this is available in the equal and NOR gate, equal and XNOR gate. This A1, A1, B1 bar or A1 bar B1 all are available in the XNOR gate. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 terms, these 4 terms are connected to the AND gate. Finally, R4 are connected to OR gate in order to add, in order to add this term. So, that we have 4 AND gates and 1 OR gate so to implement this a greater than b. Similarly, 4 AND gates and 1 OR gate to implement a less than b. Right? The, the, due to the diagram, it is uh, part by part is explained, the material available in the drive. So, by referring the material, we can easily understand. So, in this video, we discuss about the 4 bit binary comparator. By using the algorithm, the expression is framed for a equal to b, a less than b and a greater than b. Then it is designed with the logic diagram, logic gates. The XR gate is not used directly. The equal and XNR gate is framed by using two AND gate and one NOR gate. In order to get the various expression, we are using the equal and XNR gate. Right? Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.